So I am grateful for a lot of this current phase of my life because I, I feel like I'm at a point where I can like acknowledge that like I need help and like slow down and like restart. And that's really crazy to like even communicate that on a public platform. Like it's okay to be at a point of, I want, speaking to my past self, it's okay to take a moment to pause and like reset. I just, it, it sucks that I had to like force a life pause in certain aspects of my life to like recognize that. But like, oh my God, I feel like so much at peace right now. I shouldn't feel so peaceful right now because I realize like I've got a lot going, like other things happening because it's a season of change. But like I feel like aware and that's really cool. Thank you guys for your compliments and for being here and for the new followers. It means a lot to me. Good morning, beautiful. Freckle's gonna snap you later. Thank you, Bryson. Keep on praying. The one thing I've I've always I've been trying to figure out my spirituality and like where I'm at with certain things for like the last year. Um, the one thing I have never put down is prayer. Thank you. I've always said my prayers. I do believe in that a whole energy, whatever that is. I've always had a spirit of gratitude and just, you know, wishing well for things, for others and stuff. Prayer is one thing I've never put down in my entire life. Like, no matter where I was with church. Thank you very much. Like, whoever's on, like, I, <laughs> whoever's on the other side of that, like, whole can on a string thing, like, I do know someone is there. Hello? <laughs> I don't know who you are, but hi. <laughs> Whoever's out there. <laughs> Thanks for listening. I only speak English. Thank you for your gifts. I'll come to house repairs. That's quite a drive, Bryson. What's your definition of treasure? We all have different, like, I consider my children treasures. Like, I have treasure. Thank you, guys. Yes, but with house you build equity. I just wanted a place for my kids to have to like make you know what I mean like I wanted them to have that sense of stability like a safe space to come home to like I got a house really for my kids like I'm totally fine living in like a cabin in the woods like a tiny home <laughs> like I don't need anything crazy for me personally but um yeah I just wanted the house for my kids thank you like they each have their own bedroom their own beds it's cool it feels good to give literally everything I work for is for my kids. You need a man by your side? Oh, I hate that word need. I hate that word need. For to the stuff come? Not yet. Sorry, right, I don't know. It's at the P.O. box. I don't know if you were in the live earlier, Bryson, but I did say that a few people bought things from my Amazon wish list, and I did say that I'm really grateful. It means a lot to me. And I also want to know if I'm supposed to do a reveal or wait, because I would like to leave them in the Amazon boxes for my kids to unwrap on Christmas morning. So I just don't know how to like show my appreciation that the stuff did come. Do I open it and then reseal it? What is, what is the, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm new to the people doing things like that for me, so I don't know what the right thing is. <laughs> I'm, it's new for me. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I have not gotten the message yet that it's shown up. It's grown. Do you live solo? I'm a single full custody mom with two kids. So, yeah. This me. But you're so gorgeous, thank you. Shampoo. Thank you, everyone. Wow, 220? That's crazy. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Carlos. I have another man named Car- I have a few Carloses. So I've, I, I memorized like the Logans and the Christophers and the Ryans. There's some names that are lots of duplicates. So now I've got to memorize another Carlos. Hello, Carlos. <laughs> and then the problem is, is anytime you guys change your usernames or your profile pictures, I like don't, you know, I feel bad. 
I'm trying. I, I actually do memorize the routine people in here. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Wednesday, everyone from North Carolina. What's up, Michael? Do you feel insecure about what? I feel insecure about a lot of things. I, it's weird. I'm confident in some areas, but I'm also like, I'm, I'm like, you know, I feel good about some things and I'm insecure about others. I think balance is important. It keeps us humble, right? What am I? Do you feel insecure about what? Oh man, I'm a really self-conscious person actually. I know it wouldn't seem like that if I'm on lives and shit all the time, but like I just wanted, so I, I put out on social media myself and I show up as myself a lot, which is crazy. But like I wanted to be what I would want to follow, which is authenticity and just someone who is genuine and like not putting on a show. Like, I'm okay if people don't like me or find me annoying. Like, I'm just showing up as me. If you don't like me, that's okay. Like, there's someone out there, hopefully on this platform, that better aligns with what you're looking for. But what am I insecure about? I, I am always insecure about being an adequate parent. Um, my daughter was a surprise, and I made the dedication before she was born that I was going to step up and be everything I could ever be for her. I literally live like my whole existence around her. I, I made a promise to myself very early on that like I would never f allow myself to drop the ball. And I haven't, from my point of view. There's been times it's been close, um, but I always figured it out. I don't know how parents do that. I don't know how we make miracles the way that we do sometimes, but it worked out. Um, yeah, so I'm an insecure mom, I, you know, their dad and I made an agreement. He wanted me to be a stay-at-home mom. We didn't want to put our kids in daycare. And then when he made the decision to leave and walk out, um, I became a full custody parent. And like my whole idea of what kind of parenting, like the whole childhood I thought my kids would have got like washed out because I wanted to make like homemade birthday cakes and like be the interior decorator and like that cool, like, like, there's a at-home mom lifestyle I thought my kids would have. And it's okay. Like, different types of moms, different things. It's just crazy how judgy moms, can, parents can be towards other parents for falling short in different areas. Like, we're only capable of so much. <laughs> um, because when I first became a full custody parent, I thought I could do the workaholic thing and uphold my homey mom vibes. But I noticed that I was doing, I got a job, I'd come home and I'd do all the cooking and cleaning and I'd run ragged and then I realized, because there was, there was three plates, huge things that I was doing. I was working, I was doing this, the mom, the homemaker stuff and I didn't have the quality time with my kids that I wanted. Like I had my kids doing the chores with me, but I felt like the pillar that was falling short was the time I was spending with them. So I've, I've now let loose a lot of like the homemaker stuff, like my house. Thank you, Bryson. I've had to let go like that perfect house mentality because like my kids and I now make memories and we go out and we do stuff all the time. I don't have a perfectly clean home anymore. Like, cause I couldn't, I couldn't work full time, have a perfect house and have the mental and emotional capacity to go out and be super fun mom. I'm like, the messes will eventually end. The time with my children, I only get to do it once. So I am very side tangenting on a question that was stupid, like asked forever ago. I'm insecure all the time about falling short as a parent, that I'm not doing enough. Um, I have to motivate myself all the time that I know I'm doing my best and that they're happy and healthy. And, you know, I have to try to convince myself I'm doing okay a lot. 